today on Moorhead Today. Jeff Brian Stevens, Chief of Police Matt Sparks. Career shadowing, highlighting the career of a chef. Musical guest, Kevin Greer. And now, your host of Moorhead Today, Nate Merritt. Hi and welcome to another semester of Moorhead Today. I'll be taking over the hot seat this year as your new host, and we look for this semester to be the best one yet. Now we've changed the format around a little, and we've got a new career shadowing segment where we're going to briefly highlight some careers. We've also got some wonderful guests coming on, and some rocking musicians. And today's show is no exception. In the studio with us, we have catering chef Brian Stevens. Also, we have chief of police Matt Sparks, along with musical guest Kevin Greer. And this guy is amazing. You don't want to miss him. He writes his own lyrics and makes his own music. He's really fantastic. And when we come back from this short commercial break, we're going to get a look into our first segment. We'll be right back. Moorhead State University's Kentucky Center for Traditional Music houses the fastest growing traditional music program in the world and offers a great opportunity to study bluegrass, old time country, and Celtic music at Moorhead State University. Access a unique archives of traditional music and experience entertaining and educational performances, lecture demonstrations, and workshops. Study and enjoy much more of our mountain musical culture right here at Moorhead State University. My name is Brian Stevens and I'm the catering chef at MSU Dining. I think growing up I really uh, cooked a lot with my mother and that helped a lot. I always dreamed of opening a restaurant after I graduated from college. But when I got my scholarship to MSU it only lasted about two years before I realized that I, I needed to be a chef. There was nothing, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I went to school at Sullivan University in Lexington. At Sullivan, they have a, a four day a week class schedule. They also had nights and weekend classes, but for my schedule, it was four days a week. You would go in early morning, uh, probably about six, and work until nine on just cooking. And then you had your, your afternoon classes where you were actually in a classroom writing, kind of that kind of class. They taught you to learn to respect yourself so that you can respect the food that you prepare. I had to log 205 hours of real world experience with uh, at least eight hours of catering in front of the house. So I did my internship here at Moorhead. Most culinary schools seem to be about two years. Sullivan has a fast track program where they get you in and get you out and get you hired. But it's uh, 11 week semesters. It's a four semesters a year and it's a six semester program. You had your first year seminar, your first year classes, basic skills, and then you went to a bakery class for a semester. Then you did uh, garmanger, which is the cold kitchen, cold preparation like salads or uh, cold sausages and greens, ice sculptures. We actually got to carve ice sculptures, so it was pretty neat. Um, we also did uh, an international studies class where we went to about 27 countries around the world, all in 11 weeks. Um, then we had advanced tech, and uh, that was where we, we actually did things for ourselves more. Most of the other classes, you were in a group. Depending on the week, at least 40 hours a week I work, and then uh, some weeks up to 65, 70 hours. Depends on how busy catering is. It's not really a job to me because I get to get up every day knowing that I get to do something I love. I love to cook because you get to create something new, a bite that can make somebody's day even better. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome our first guest in Moorhead Today 2012, catering chef, Mr. Brian Stevens. Brian, how you doing? Good, how are you, Nate? Good. Well, first off, Brian, I'd like to apologize uh, a little bit for the quality 
of our career shadowing segment. Uh, we had a little bit of technical difficulties. Um, but after seeing the segment, we'd just like to know what kind of advice do you have to give to uh, those at home watching who maybe, uh, you know, are looking to become a chef later on in life? Right. Well, I'd say it's never too early to start uh, looking for the right school for you. And also, when you start looking for the right school for you, definitely sit in on some classes, get your hands dirty in the cooking classes. Uh, also, know that it's a really high-paced career. You're going to be really super stressed. You're going to be really super busy, but it always gets better. And you're always enjoying yourself if you really like to cook. And then also, uh, never stop learning, really, because once you stop, stop learning, the next guy's just going to get better than you. Right, right. Okay, and uh, I'd like to know how far you would like to go as a chef. I know uh, you hear about all the time these, these guys on television um, Anthony Bourdain and uh, uh, Emerald Legacy, these guys who have their shows, you know, in their own restaurants and things like that. Is, is these the kind of things that has inspired you to be a chef or to go a, a certain route in, uh, within your future? I mean, I, I would love to have my own show, but I think that's probably a, a, a rare coincidence that somebody gets their own show. I, I, uh, well, not for this guy right yeah, here. Yeah, you know obviously. <laughs> right. Something worked for you. I think that I would probably, uh, I mean, as, as a catering chef for Airmark, I think I would like to go a little further in the company before I start working on my own passions, but I don't know if being on a TV show is really that. I'd like to uh, one day own my own farm and produce chicken and cattle and vegetables and everything that it takes to run a restaurant on my farm. And then I'd like to uh, just make a seasonal menu that runs completely off of what I grow. That's ultimately my goal one day. <laughs> so. Wow, so you'd have your own farm, cattle, and uh, produce completely grown by you, Brian Stevens. Right. Yeah. That would be, that sounds excellent. Yeah. Well, Brian, that's all the time we have for you today, and we just thank you so much for being here, and uh, when we get right back, we're going to have a musical guest, Kevin Greer, so stay tuned. Thanks, Nate. So you want to race? Yeah, man, you're on. How'd you beat me here? I took the MSU bus. MSU bus, with hours from 6.40 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Don't forget to ride the bus. Yo! Yo, what? You what? should try this. What? This is amazing. Fired Up Grill. Burgers any way you want them. Located in the Adrian Dorn University Center. Come get a better burger today. All right, and what would be singing for us? I'm singing a song called Highway, um, and it's basically about everyone has a road of life that they walk, and if it's tiresome and life gets you down, you can always stop and um, take a break and then push on forward when you're ready. Well, great. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Greer. again today same old story of a common individual trying to find his path through the right thing i took a walk with my headphones on head nodding to the beat of a good song whoa it's like i'm floating up above and i want to bring you along the trial that we face straight put you in a place make haste even though it's not a race to replace your obstacle and it will knock you against the wall i fell apart again today but when do we ever not feel locked down by the force of such gravity and you can fly life's highway and stop wherever you need It keeps on going high, right back on Got a lot more sights to see I 
Said I finally got it my way And I'm looking for something new I'm rolling down the highway, highway I said I finally got it my way And I'm looking for something new I'm rolling down the highway, highway I fell apart again today But I took another step in the direction of a life with a lot of positivity I saw a man with his face in his hands not living by his master plan Flee from his sorrow, we forgot about tomorrow Now the times run away from him We all try to live it quick, but now you hit a slick spot Not knowing where you go, now you're lost And you're spun straight out of control And you don't know where to go I fell apart again today But when do we ever not feel locked down By the force of such gravity can fly life's highway and stop wherever you need It keeps on going, hop right back on Got a lot more sights to see I said I finally got it my way And I'm looking for something new I'm rolling down the highway, highway I said I finally got it my way And I'm looking for something new I'm rolling down the highway, highway I fell apart again today But when do we ever not feel locked down by the force of such gravity? And you can fly life's highway and stop wherever you need And keep on going, hop right back on, got a lot more sights to see I fell apart again today when do we ever not feel locked down by the force of such gravity? And you can fly life's highway and stop wherever you need. And keep on going, hop right back on, got a lot more sights to see. All right, and we are back here again, and we're about to introduce our musical guest, Mr. Kevin Greer. Kev, nice to see you. How you doing? <sighs> so, Kevin, first off, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, my name's Kevin Greer. I uh, am a student here at Moorhead. I'm a theater major and minoring in film production, um, and I'm, this is my second semester, so i uh, I've, uh, I got to perform in a play last year, and uh, that's kind of the path that I'm going right now. Okay, so uh, we've already heard your, your first song. You're, you're very talented. Thank I, wa you. I just want to tell you that. Thank you. And as far as your, your musical aspects go, uh, what do you do? I know we heard you sing and play, but uh, you make your own instrumentals as well. Yes, that's right. Um, I, I've got a Mac uh, a few years ago, my computer, and I have been writing music on it ever since, um, just using GarageBand, which is a program uh, for making instrumentals. But uh -huh. um, I, I usually start just by by making a beat and, and adding some instruments to it and write the lyrics after I get the song down. But um, that's kind of been my process for the past few years, and it seemed to work well for me. 
So what is your, uh, your favorite aspect of uh, this process of, from making beats to writing lyrics to singing? What's your, what's your forte? What are, you, what are you the best at? I just love music. I've, I've loved music my entire life. I've, I've performed music my entire life. And uh, writing to me is a very personal experience. And it uh, allows me to, to put thoughts in my head to, to rhythms and, and to melodies. And, um, I absolutely love harmonizing as well. It's one of my favorite things, but it's just so personal to me, and it's my words that uh, people get to hear, and I, uh, I just I really enjoy it. All right. Well, sure. Well, we can we can see that you. Uh, Thank you. You perform with a lot of energy, and it's just it's just fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, I hear that you had a, a run-in with uh, a major label. Um, I. I had some stuff going on in Lexington uh, not too long ago and had a couple people from uh, LA get a hold of some of my stuff, which was great for me because I haven't really had that kind of exposure. Um, that, that didn't work out the way uh, I wanted it to, but I just take that, you know, um, I take that and, and just push forward with it just to know that I, I have had that opportunity and um, I'm looking forward to more opportunities right, like that. Right, right. Well, you know, that's why we got you here on the show. We're trying Thank you. To I'm trying to push for our students here at Moorhead State to, to go as far as they can with their dreams. And speaking of dreams, where do you see yourself uh, going as a musician? I, I love performing for people. I mean, that's what, I, that's what I've been doing, um, like I said, my entire life. And I, I, I want to be a, a touring musician. You know, I don't, I don't have desires to be, you know, this famous on TV type of musician. I just want to be able to have a good fan base and have people listen to my music and just write music that people relate to, people like me um, that, that can relate to, to my songs and my lyrics. Right, so uh, music means a lot to you in, in this respect. Yes, it does. Absolutely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have here for Kevin Greer. Singer, songwriter, actor, he's the real deal, the total package. Kevin, we thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. We look forward it. to hearing to you again. Thank you. All right. Guys, when we come back, we're going to see our next guest, Mr. Matt Sparks. Don't go anywhere. Add Beaker Bucks to your Eagle card today. All right, and our next guest is Chief of Police Matt Sparks. Chief. Yeah, Hayden, I hey, can see. So, Chief, you're a uh, you came to MSU and uh, before you were a state police officer, is that correct? Yes, sir. And uh, you came to MSU to take over as uh, the head, the chief, the guy who runs the show. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, can you tell us what did you do to, to get to that step as uh, a state police officer? What did you have to do to become chief of police? Sure. I, actually, I, I started for the state police in 1986. Uh, worked for the state police, promoted up through the ranks, I started out as a trooper, made detective for a general investigator, and promoted up through the ranks to the, to the rank of post commander. Uh, I was a post commander down at the Hazard Post, Ashland Post, uh, and, and our human resource section there in the state police. Uh, that, and that's a promotional system that you, to make those each, each rank from sergeant, lieutenant to captain. Uh, so with each uh, step is more pay, uh, new title? Yeah. More, uh, a little more pay each step in the state police and, and, and their promotional system is usually comes with a 10% pay increase. Okay. Uh, 
a little, few more headaches, a little more money, and a few more headaches. Right. Um, here at uh, MSU, it seems like ever since you've taken over, we just keep hearing more and more positives about what's been going on with the police department. Uh, I know myself a few times on campus, I've just heard uh, walking by people saying, man, uh, Chief Sparks is really doing a lot with uh, the campus police. Uh, what can you tell us about that? What kind of changes have you made? Well, one thing that I, that I, that I, that I changed, or I, I, I will, the only thing I can really point my finger to, that I've, I've pushed our guys to be, uh, to be more community oriented. I, I, I pushed them to get out of the cars, and get out on foot, get out on bikes, be in the residence halls, you know, not not up and down on the floors, but in the lobbies of the residence halls. Being being involved, getting more involved. It's kind of my fault that it's much easier for students to approach us if we're walking or standing on the sidewalk or standing in a building uh, versus driving a cruiser by with the windows rolled up. So, so right. that's one thing is just getting that more personal involvement right. from the yeah. officers and the students. Personal. Um, so, do you have anything to tell uh, the worried mothers out there? I know. It's uh, the beginning of a new semester again here, and uh, there's some mothers who have first-time students sure. coming to campus. What do you have to tell uh, the mothers who are worried about their students on uh, living on campus? Well, you know, that's something that every every time we have a soar, you know, student orientation, and you have incoming freshmen come in, that's that's the just a reoccurring question I have from parents is, how safe is your campus? Is my child going to be safe there? Many of these kids are going away from home for the first time to, for any length of time, uh, living away from home for the very first time in their life. So they want to know, you know, is our campus safe? They want to talk about crime and crime stats. So, so that's something that, that I that I try to ease their mind with. You know, it, that we, we do have a great safety record at, here at Morehead State University. We've we've been nominated. We've actually won uh, for the last two years in a row by stateuniversity.com or, or safeuniversity.com nominated as the safest university in the state of Kentucky. Safest university. Actually, we have a uh, just a flyer right here. Can we get a shot of this uh, just for those mothers at home who are wondering what Chief is talking about here. Moorhead State ranked number one safest in Kentucky University. And, that, and that's based on our on our crime rate here on campus. You know, they look at, you know, obviously violent, it, it's a point system and Violent crime or, or actually rates higher, or, or would actually cause you to rate lower. So, so we're very fortunate. And, and as I've as I've told anybody that anybody that would listen to me, I, I think it's it's not obviously it's a compliment to our department, but but I think it's a bigger compliment to our student body on this campus. You know, we all know that police officers can't be everywhere all the time. So I think it says instead of uh, instead of the police department trying to take credit for this, I think it's more. Falls, the credit should go to our student, our student body. We have a great group of students. We have a great student body. It's, you know, policing and keeping this campus safe. It's a, it's a community effort. You know, we, right. we rely on students to call someone who walks through a residence hall that looks out of place, or looks like they doesn't belong there. You know, we, we count on them to call. We count on them not to hold doors open of residence halls and letting, you know, people kind of piggyback in on once they swipe in. So, so it's a, it's kind of a community-wide effort here. Right. Well, Chief. I know I certainly feel safer about being on campus. We uh, thank you for being on the show today. And uh, as always, you're welcome back anytime. Thanks for having me. All right. And when we come back, we're going to hear more from our musical guest, Kevin Greer. Stay tuned. letters. Um, I think those are class numbers. Oh. Need a book or school supplies? Come see us at the University Bookstore, located on the bottom floor of Ada.
said she wasn't used to the way I wanna make her smile Every second of the day Now she's got it All she ever wanted All I ever wanted was to make her feel significant Forget about the time spent Thinking that you would be alone Baby, just let it go Take this moment here with me And let me show what it means to have someone to keep you close and never go away I'll never go away I want to give you my all, my everything I want to live this life with you forever I want to hold you tight, never let you go I love you today as if there's no tomorrow No tomorrow, no tomorrow I never met a girl in the world That could make my life a paradise You could be the one If I let you be the one I wanna see your beauty Shining like the sun And I'll let you know Every day you continue to glow And I love it when you shine God bless your love It's so divine And I'll be with you Till the end And I'll always be your man In me you can always depend I want to give you my all, my everything I want to live this life with you forever I want to hold you tight, never let you go I love you today as if there's no tomorrow, no tomorrow, no tomorrow, no tomorrow, no tomorrow, no tomorrow, no tomorrow. State University's Kentucky Center for Traditional Music houses the fastest growing traditional music program in the world and offers a great opportunity to study bluegrass, old time country, and Celtic music at Moorhead State University. Access a unique archives of traditional music and experience entertaining and educational performances, lecture demonstrations, and workshops. Study and enjoy much more of our mountain musical culture right here at Moorhead State University. All right, guys, that's our show for today. I want to thank all of our guests for being here, Brian Stevens, Chief of Police Matt Sparks, and our musical guest, Kevin Greer. We'd like to remind you to please check us out on the web by Googling us at moreheadstate.edu, MSU TV. And you can also find us on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash MSU TV. We hope that you come back right here next week. We're going to try to have another fantastic show. Guys, thanks for watching. From all of us here at the studio, I'm Nate Merritt. And that's more head today. <laughs>